Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips. In today's tutorial guys, you look at the check device power um, screen as seen here. And of course, other than to um, look at the check device um, power screen, also known as the no signal screen on some devices, newer devices will say check device power. Alright, so I'll show you how you can troubleshoot this. Alright, so if your TV has multiple HDMI ports, Usually this relates to your HDMI ports. Make sure, one, that the device, as it says, um, they usually say no signal, but they have upgraded to say check device power. Because in most cases, no signal or check device power is caused by a device that is not turned on. So let's say you have a PlayStation or, of course, a Xbox connected. Make sure that, one, you power on that device right and of course once the device that is um, powered on comes on the hdmi should awaken and you should get a signal if for whatever reason you're not getting a signal second thing to try is to check to make sure that you are on the right hdmi port so for example let's say that the hdmi port in question is hdmi um, Two, that's the PlayStation is connected or gaming console or even a computer go ahead and check your sources you can use the source button and what you can do is to check to make sure that the source so you go to sources and you're gonna check your HDMI port so let's say you have two I have only one here you're gonna switch to the second um, source and once you switch to the second source um, the device should appear all right so once the device appears and it is powered, what should that miss that? It should be working as it should. If not, um, there's another thing you could try is to make sure that your cable is plugged all the way in. If you did not um, securely uh, connect your cable, it might be a case where the device is powered on, but you're not getting a signal. So go ahead and check your cables, make sure they're pushed all the way in. So if they are not snug, they could result in no signal make sure it's connected at the console end or device end and at the tv end all right so that's another thing to check for next if nothing works try switching out the cable especially if the console is working so switch out the cable itself you have a spare hdmi cable switch out that cable and check to see if it's still working um, you want to make sure the port is working as well Sometimes if one port is not working, go ahead and switch ports. So if you're on port one, go ahead and try port two, because if the port is defective, you may be able to get around the problem that way. Another thing to try is if to make sure that the console itself or whatever you're using on the HDMI port is working. Best way to do that is to try another device that works by HDMI, such as a Blu-ray or DVD player, or even um, a computer that you can connect by HDMI and see if that will come up. If it comes up, it will mean that the port is good and you need to check that device that's not powering on as the device may be defective. If you try all these things, you should be able to get rid of the check device power screen or, of course, the no signal screen. Um, do what this was helpful. As always, Ricardo Gardner from Block Tech Tips. Same bye until next time. Bye, guys.